Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm back with a new full tutorial for you guys showing you how I alt this cute little Finna Bear art journal. We live in a strange world right now and I hope I can bring you some light and happiness with this new video. I've added a list of supplies in the description box and make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you like my videos. Thanks for your support, stay healthy and have a wonderful day. I'm using the tiny journal from the latest Vinnerberg collection. It's a lovely journal with craft paper pages. I start by applying a layer of black gesso, which I overestimated because you keep seeing every tiny little piece of craft colored paper. For the same reason, I decided to paint the back as well. And for the parts you can't uh, reach that easily, I dilute the gesso with water so it's easier to apply. I'm going to speed up some parts of the video, but if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section down below. Then I start creating some texture. I have this amazing plan to mix crackle paste with Lindy's Magicals. Without realizing, I'm going to paint everything black anyway. It's a bit of a waste of time, but that's a good lesson for the next time. You can dry the crackle paste with your heat tool, but keep in mind you'll end up with some smaller cracks. I really like the effect of this paste mixed with Ma uh, Lindy's Magicals, but it's too bad you won't see it anymore later. I use sculpture medium and cheesecloth to create just a bit more texture. I loosen the threads of the cloth and use quite a lot of medium uh, because by soaking the cloth well you get the best effect. Once this is dry it is completely stiffened up.
start by applying all kinds of elements. I'm using metal by Midform Castings and all kinds of re nice resin shapes. I use Ivy Body Gel to apply them, which is a medium that is usually used to make acrylic paint very thick, but it's also functioning very well as glue. I try to use a glue gun as little as possible because that glue loosens when it gets hot when working with my heat tool. And it isn't that permanent as well over time. Heavy body gel hardly ever releases once it's dried. When I'm done gluing, I'll make sure it's completely dry before I apply black gesso again. I'm using this cute little angel as focal point. It's important to choose a focal point because if you don't use something that catches the eye or use too many things, your eyes just won't be able to decide where to look at. And this will make your project look a bit off. When you're trying to decide on where to place an object of interest, you can add some more dimension as well to make it stand out a bit more.
I want to work with Finnebear waxes and can't really decide on the color combination. So I test it on a piece of paper which color combination is the best. I'm planning on experimenting with the new matte wax anyway, so I will use that for sure. I decide to use a number of different colors and for the exact colors scroll down to the description box. I apply the wax with my hands and a brush but that's mainly because I know the new wax is hard to get off my fingers. I noticed that the matte wax is best to use as a top layer because the color will fade a bit when applying the other colors. I just love the different effects of these pastes.
As a finishing touch, I apply some brass colored splashes. By diluting the paint a bit and using a hard object to tap on the brush, I use scissors, you get these nice and pretty splatters. At least I apply some glass glitter in copper color. It looks just perfect, don't you think? I add just a little more aged brass and patina matte wax to make these two colors stand out just a little bit more. And this is the journal cover all finished. Don't you just love all these sparkles and the pretty patina effect? If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. It'll be my pleasure to answer them. Make sure to check out the list of supplies too and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe and healthy and have a great day.